What we know right now is the troops were part of a special operation forces at Camp Lejeune. Tonight, a father of one of the fallen is coming forward to talk about his son as we wait to learn the names of the rest of the victims. Several agencies are continuing to investigate to see exactly what went wrong. WNCT's Brandon Truitt joins us now with more information. Brandon. Ken, it's the deadliest crash for the Marines in more than a decade. Now families of the fallen are being notified and receiving answers. The military transport plane fell from the sky over western Mississippi. The plane sending black smoke billowing into the air and a trail of debris across the countryside, including explosives. 15 Marines and one sailor were on board the aircraft. Seven of the crew members based in the east at Camp Lejeune. Major Andrew Aranda of the Marine Forces Reserve. They were on a uh, training flight from Cherry Point, North Carolina to El Centro, California. They were on a mission to just transport personnel and equipment. The nine other Marines were from the Stewart Air National Guard Base in Newburgh, New York. Nine out of the 16 are from our area. The DOD is going to confirm them with the names at a later date after they finish all the confirmations and notifications. But uh, we are preparing for nine and we're going to help the Marines and as best as we can. Those notifications still being delivered to families of the fallen. One family in Vermont has come forward revealing their son, Gunnery Sergeant Brandon Johnson, has died. Johnson's father is speaking to our CBS affiliate, WCAX. Well, I think he was a very uh, uh, gentle person. Um, he loved the outdoors. He was looking forward to retirement next year because he said it was time to move on and let some of the younger kids take over. He, uh, he had a great sense of humor. Uh, yeah, everything. He loved it. He loved to fly. Near the crash site, a sign of respect for the tragic loss of some of our nation's finest. Now, the Department of Defense is waiting to release the names of the victims until all the families are notified. Investigators say there is no reason to expect foul play, but they're still working to find the exact cause of the crash. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thanks. Now, here's what we know about the plane. It's, an, it's a KC-130 transport plane. The plane is used to refuel aircraft in flight and transport cargo and troops. It's one of only 26 in the Marine Corps inventory per Naval Air Systems Command fact sheet. According to a Marine Reserve spokesperson, the service members aboard the aircraft were logging flying hours.